Good evening, good afternoon. I just want to thank everybody. Just want to thank everybody for the day. All right? I want to I want to share my response about the rally yesterday in the Bronx, the South Bronx. And I want to add on to the right that, you know, the right last yesterday. I feel that like I said before, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you. Like I said before, these candidates, when you vote for them and they promise you to do certain things to change the economy, you're not going to get it because once they get in the White House, they're going to forget about you. You know what I'm saying? I feel that Governor Hope, Kathy Hoboka, I got a message for you. I didn't vote for you um, during the primary. How dare you talk about um, we don't know, um, uh, Bronx people don't know about computer. How dare you say that? That's very insulting to me. Because I, I I used to struggle with computers, and I know computers. You know what I'm saying? I'm very good at it. And you wanna you wanna make you wanna you gonna talk about we don't know how to use a computer? You know that's very that's very insulting to people that doesn't doesn't have special needs. It's very discriminating against people with disability, and it's not it's not funny what people have to go through to get to get where they at in life. And you're gonna have a dash to say that. Really? Really? How dare you say we don't ever know how to use a computer? You know what I'm saying? Some people don't even know how to use a computer, but they get help to know how to use it, right? You know what I'm saying? I, I just I just don't understand why would she come out and say that on live. Uh, and I don't I don't agree with that. And um, for the for the people that support a a, a candidate, I, I'm going to tell you, stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your time supporting that candidate. Stop wasting your time. That's the reason why I decided to vote as a Democrat, because y'all want to talk about the economy. You want to talk about certain things that's going on in the reality check. Y'all want to talk about the what people need and what people want. We need to, and what people need, we need to get these homelesses a job, and we need to get them a place to live. There's about in in Brooklyn and population, Brooklyn and the Bronx, there's about 1.6 million homeless people that's laying in the parks right now. And they say, I need help. I need a job. I need somewhere to sleep. I need somewhere to get money. You know what I'm saying? And these candidates don't care. And y'all going to vote for a council person and somebody that don't care and when you vote for them, oh, I promise I'm going to get things done. And nothing is not getting done. You know what I'm saying? So you talk about voting for somebody that doesn't give a crap. And you want to show up to a rally in the South Bronx. And you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, um, um, uh, what they call it, demonize these people's minds, saying that you're going to, you promise that you're going to do certain things. You're not going to get it done. South Bronx, I'm happy that you booed him. I'm happy that you did. Because I feel like, America needs to be disciplined, and I feel like we need to be we need to have a, a, a strong economical leader. And I think the leader is the leadership of this is the world needs balance. We need discipline. We need to get these homeless off the streets and get them some place to live. You know what I'm saying? I go to homeless areas, and I, sometimes I do you um YouTube videos, and I go to homeless um to homeless areas, and I said to them. I understand where you're coming from. And they say, I don't need help, but you really do it in your heart. You say, yeah, I need help. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just give them information to go to the office and, and, and ask them if they could give them a job or something, you know? I helped this homeless guy over by First Avenue and 97th Street East Side. He said, man, I did not need your help. And I see him at, on 145th Street in Harlem working, do, um, working at a library cleaning the building. And he used to beg on the street. And I walked up and I gave him my information to go down to the place and help. He said when he went to the, the office, they didn't help him out. And then when I see him, he said, thank you, man. You're right. You're right. I said to these people, if you need help and you need to get a job, I will give you the information to get a job. Because that's that's what we do to help people. We have good heart to help people. But if you're in the Bronx, man, I'm telling you, South Bronx, and y'all vote for this council person that's representing your district. And let me let me be honest, y'all vote for somebody that's representing your district. And you talk about oh that that that, 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 that um these people y'all represent the wrong things. I'm telling you right now, y'all represent the wrong things because 
if we need better education, we need better teachers. We need better. We need to bring religion back into schools. That's how I feel. We need to bring. We need to bring a religion back into the pressure of allegiance. You know, we used to say it back in the day. The pressure of allegiance of the United States of America. You used to say it back in the day, and we don't say it no more. You know why? Because they banned that, and we should not be. We should not be. We used to have prayer in the school. We used to have a lot of activity in the schools. And they don't have that no more. And now they want to cut teacher salaries and want to do all this stuff. Because they full of crap. To tell you the truth, they full of crap. You know what I'm saying? And I don't agree with certain things that they're doing. And as a Democrat, a registered Democrat, I will be voting as a Democrat for November. And I'm going to be honest with you. You could, you could vote for anybody you want to vote for. But you need to vote for the right things in your life. If you if you talk about economic growth, economic climate change, economic power of authority, economic certain situations, let me tell you, they asked me a question about that, and I said to them, I will I will I will vote for a Democrat to save our kind and vote for another party. I'll be honest with you, I would, because I feel like in my in my in my beneficial, I help these homeless people because they understand where they're coming from. And it's sad to see these candidates that you vote for, they don't go to areas like I do and see these homeless people lay on the street and begging on the damn trains. You don't go on the trains and say, You come vote for your help is on the way. You 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 don't even shake their hand and say, Oh, come vote for me, or whatever. Y'all don't care. These politicians don't care about other people because what they do. They want us to vote for them, all because of your vote for them. You, I'm gonna make a change, and then nothing is not done. You know what I'm saying? Council council members in certain different district, you said I'm gonna vote for a change in our community. Look what happened. Everything everything going up because of Congress. It's not because it's not the president has nothing to do with it. The Congress has something to do with it. You know what I'm saying? So you talk about economic growth, climate change. You talk about changes in our life, changes in our authority. Stop with the bullshit nonsense and let's go into the real facts and get to the nitty gritty. Get to the bullshit. Get to the nitty gritty. Let's get into the nitty gritty now. Mm hmm. Right. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't worried about that, that idiot man that's sir, um, doing 91 counts of rob, um, criminal char charges. I'm not dealing with that Manhattan, um, court. You know what I mean? I'm dealing with what's going on in our economy right now. You know what I mean? These protesting, these drama, the argument, stop this bullshit. Because y'all going to rallies, y'all want to be this y'all want to play some perdicity shit. Stop going to rallies and y'all want to hear these candidates. These candidates have nothing to do. These candidates don't even know what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, if you let me back in office, I will make Amer I will make America. I will I will fix the coming. I will rate our lower tax rates. And when they wrote and, and they start promising lower tax rates, guess what happened? Tax go up. Uh -huh. So you, they, they promise you certain things and you you get in the wrong results. You feel me? You're not getting the right results because you wanna you wanna you wanna work you wanna um focus on people. You wanna focus on people. But you're not focused on the real reason why you want to vote. So let me tell you something. This November, I'll be voting as a Democrat. Because I have my my opinion about the economy. I have my opinion about certain type of topics. And I feel that they these people, these candidates don't even have audacity to come to every area and, and shake our hand and say, listen... I'm going to vote for somebody that want to make a difference and make a change in this world. But y'all just going to go to rallies and cause a chaos. Y'all want to go to the South Bronx rally and cause some chaos. Because you think you think that you're, you're not getting your voice heard by you shaking a can of hand. But I feel like these, these Latinos, these, these Hispanics, I have respect for them. But you got to know the nitty gritty of what's happening in the world. This world is full of crap because we have to deal with people want to damage people. And people want to put things in our minds and tear us away from certain type of things. But I think that it is wrong for us to build. We have to build from levels and stages in our life. We can't, we can't, we can't build. Let me, let me say this. We can't build off a negative vibe. We got to build for the positive vibe of it. You feel me? I'm not, 
I'm not saying how I feel about it. But I'm saying is, I'm going to tell you how it is. How dare you say that we don't know how to use a computer? How dare you say that? How dare you criticize people with disability? How dare you discriminate? How dare you talk about we don't know how to use a, a Bronx people don't know how to use a computer? You, you Have you ever been to the Bronx and see them using a the computer? Have you ever been to the Bronx? To be honest, have a governor ever been to the Bronx? Have you ever been to the Bronx? And you want to discriminate against that? Really? Really? I never, let me tell you something, bro. I never voted for Kathy Hoboka and, um, and, and, and Prime. I voted for Tom Swizzy. You know why I voted for him? Because he could, he could change. He could change the bear enforcement law. My concern is this criminal system is slow because we, you, you allow these criminals to get off easily. And they need, they need to be locked up for life. You feel me? Do you let these criminals get off easily because y'all don't care about what these people want? And what these people need in our life. And hey, y'all talk about, oh, um, if I, if you go to my rally and you vote for me, I'm going to lower tax rates. And, they, and when, you lower, when they go in the office, tax rates goes up. Because they want to shut down the government for what? For nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not, it's not. Y'all want to talk about, y'all want to talk about economy growth? Talk, let's talk about economy growth. Let's talk about the changes that we have to go through. We'll talk about the struggles that we have to go through. Let's talk about that. But y'all want to talk about certain type of issues that is going on in our community, and y'all want to, y'all want to, how dare you say that? How dare you market a disability people? How dare you discriminate against the disability people? Disability, how dare you? Cause you wanna be, you wanna, you wanna talk about we can't use a computer. I have a disability. I know how to use a computer. I, I, I took computer classes, and I know how to use a computer. You know what I'm gonna speak about? I use it. I have a computer right here. Let me show you. Let me right here, and I can use a computer. And I'm having a disability. I can use a computer. I took a class to use a computer. But you want you want to talk about how we we don't know how to use a computer? Really? How dare you say that? That's very rude. And y'all, and y'all, y'all wanna, y'all wanna, y'all wanna, y'all wanna vote for this? You wanna vote for this, 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 um, this idiotic person? Really? Hmm. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. When the re-election for governor is coming up, I'm gonna vote for another Democrat governor. Who, who I'm gonna, I want, I want, I want nothing to do with that Democrat governor. Really? How dare you? How dare you say those things? Because you think that I, I'm a, I have a disability and I can use a computer. Huh? I have a disability I can use a computer. Look at the computer I have and I can use it. When you talk about I, I, I don't know how to use a computer. I don't know, that, I don't know how to use a child device. I have a phone. I know how to use a phone. I, 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 I have a brain. I can use my brain. I, I ain't mentally retarded, but I can use, I'm a smarter than fifth grade. I can use my brain. But how dare you, how dare you, come on, how dare you say, how dare you say that? South Bronx, I'm by your side, bro. South Bronx, Democrats, I'm with y'all. I stand with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I stand with y'all. But I don't want nothing to do with these, these leaders that want to, that want to, um, that want to make, that want to make a, uh, make a, make a, uh, the, 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 cause the protest scene. Y'all want to protest? Protest, protest at the Congress and let the Congress people, let the voice be heard with the Congress person that you vote for. Y'all, y'all talk about, y'all talk about lowering tax rates and look what happened. Tax rates went up. Y'all want to talk, y'all want to look about the facts? Look at the fake news that they pull out talking about tax rates are um, down. That's not true. Tax rates went up. Yeah, that, 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 the candidates tell you, I'm promise you have to low, um, I'm promise to lower your tax rates and build new jobs to the homeless. And look what happened. Homeless people lay on the street. They don't ever have work. Because these people, these people want to, these people want to be demonized by these candidates. Y'all need to stop with the bullshit and start looking at the facts. All right? Stop with the bullshit and stop looking at, start, stop with the bullshit and start looking at the fucking facts. Real shit. Because at that day, I'm not going to put up where y'all show up to rallies and y'all going to hear these people and y'all talk about, y'all talk about, um, y'all talk about, we, we don't know how to use a computer. Really? Really? Y'all want to be, y'all want to talk about being discriminated against disability and y'all talk about we don't know how to use a computer? How dare you say that? I have a learning disability and I have a speech impairment problem, but 
do do I make that do I do I do I do I make that a big deal for me? No. I know to use a computer. Look at my computer right here. I know to use it. I know to reset a computer. I know to start a computer. I know to finish a computer. I thought, but well, we don't know that they use a computer, really? Oh, stop you. When the governor re-election is coming up, I'm gonna vote for another Democrat leader. I I I I'm not I, I, I did not vote for her in I'm 20. I ain't vote for her for the primary. I voted for Tom Swizzy, but I'm not. I'm not gonna put up with that. This that this that this. I feel South Bronx, and I feel you. I'm I'm a Democrat. I'm on your side, and I feel what I feel how I have, I feel how I feel. But I'm not voting for the other party. I'm I'm still gonna be voting as a Democrat, and I feel how I feel. But be people have to respect that. And we can't, we can't, we can't go on like this, man. We can't go on by separating. We got, we can't go on like this. Feel me? We got, we got, we got to stand up and fight for our belief. You feel me? All right. So today, drum roll, please. Blah. I will be. Blah. I will be. Oh, oh, y'all wanna hear the? Y'all wanna hear the area? I'm gonna be. I'm doing video for YouTube, right? Right. All right, jump roll, please. Blah. Oh shit, that was, that was a jump roll. I will be in. I'm just. <laughs> I will be in. <laughs> I will be in. Baby, baby, baby. I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make it right for y'all. I will be in. Oh my god! If I say it, y'all gonna like. Oh wow. Shamika. Samuels will be doing YouTube videos over by drum roll, please. Blah. I will be over by wait, wait, wait hold on. Mm -hmm. I will be over by I, 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 if I say this to you, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be happy. I'll be over by Avenue, I'll be over by uh not Marine Park. Uh -huh, no, I'll be in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> if I give you, if I give you a surprise, would you, would you, would you, would you, would you show up? Would you, would you, would you subscribe to my YouTube? Okay, I'll be in Canarsie today. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, Night Avenue M M though. I'm gonna be all by Avenue L and Remsen. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll be in Canarsie tonight. Uh, Avenue L and Remsen, baby. Avenue L and Remsen. And then I'm going to go straight down Avenue L into the hundreds. All right? So we got money. <laughs> so we're going to be at Rams. We're going to be in Canarsie today again. And I hope that you subscribe, bro. I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, Shamika Sides, look me up. I, I need to hit 2,000 subscribers. Comment, like, um, subscribe. I hope I, I hope I hit 2,000 subscribers, bro. And Fight My Production Murder that's will be dropping this year. The website will be coming up in 2024. We're working on it. We're going to get it done. SpongeBob products will be dropping this year on Huge Pop. So most of you, you're going to get your submit, submit your orders. And the first 15 people that submit their orders, they get a 50% discount on your scan, your QR code on the website. So go on the website and pick up your merchandise. And we will be having, we're going to be setting it up. We were, I'm working on it. I will be, I'll be pulling in Memorial Day weekend to work on the products. And I'll be uploading the products on YouTube as a sample. And you can watch the video of the products on YouTube. I'll be creating it through e clips and i'll be uploading the e-clips to the youtube so you could uh, you could you could like or like my products and get and we could we could start making um making making everything um, positive and we're gonna go and we're gonna do it we're gonna do it correct professionally all right so thank you guys for watching me fight face production magic will be coming out with a new podcast we are looking into getting people to come out. And um, if you're a Democrat, if no matter what um, party you are, we, we welcome you. And we we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about topics and we're gonna get we're gonna get into the nitty-gritty. You feel me? We're gonna get into the nitty-gritty, all right? So support me on this one. We are going to be going to be showing a, a podcast, and we're actually going to be looking into studio space in um in um our studio space in a warehouse, so we can start doing podcasts and getting people to come out and support us and 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 build from that. All right. So YouTube and TikTok, thank you for all the likes. TikTok five thousand eight hundred twenty-seven likes. YouTube one thousand and thirty-four. We're gonna we're gonna get more subscribers today. I'm gonna be in Canarsie tonight, so I'm leaving here shortly to go to Canarsie. 
Ramson and Avenue L. So we're going to be at Ramson and Avenue L today. So, all right, check me out. All right, Shamika Samuels. All right, I, I hope that you enjoyed the, the rest of your, your afternoon. Love you guys. And thank you for all the support.